Hi all, uh, we are back with the third part of the tutorial. Uh, we are going to see how to optimize the render and uh, make some color changes, some light. And uh, if you don't have these parameter from the last tutorial, you can just copy them from the description, copy and go to Mandelbab open open from clipboard and it will load automatically you just need a amazing surf formula and uh, we want to make some changes with the colors so go over the light tab and diffusion um, here you can change some colors uh, i want to make a futuristic abstract ab abstract look so i want some red colors just press here red and some not too much saturated red maybe this one will be good and you see it's displaced over the fractal um, then i want all to be gray so like a blue gray like this okay and let's just go here and press c and v to copy the colors okay uh, then we don't want this uh, kind of gradient so just check no epoch and we will have colors without uh, a gradient um, okay you can choose uh, the color cycling which means uh, it will the colors will cycle into the fractal iteration and in this case it's good because we want only uh, the ground part to be colored and uh, for example if i want to make the red part the, I, I want to switch the colors here i just need to do this it's a little tricky so just try by yourself Okay. Okay, that's what what I wanted. Perfect. Maybe some more red here, orange. Okay. Uh, then we want to add some depth to our fractal so just go over light ambient and increase the depth so some cloud some atmosphere particles will 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 give some depth to the image we can also change colors here um, for this sheen I want something uh, like gray and in the low part some yellow like this okay I want to also change the light here light one which is a global light like a sunlight and just click over here and make it like blue okay and then there's something uh, too noisy here so you just need to change um, over calculation tab uh, decrease the ray step multiplier to 0 0.1 and increase uh, smooth uh, normals to 8 this will give some lines more details and press calculate you will see now it's everything is more uh, without noise
then uh, we want some uh, a little bit of uh, reflection over the surface we, you can just increase this slider and if we if we also want some real reflection just go under post process and reflection plus transparency and check this but before this we want some shadows so go over hard shadows check calculate automatically and calculate now okay uh, and now reflection maybe uh, that's too too reflective uh, because uh, it's under diffusion uh, colors we have two colors one is for the like the red one the red one is for the color and the this one above is just for the reflection if you want to set this to full reflection we need to see it to to set it to the white and the black for no reflection so we want not too much just like this and some red okay copy paste perfect and we don't want reflection on the ground so just black full black here copy and paste them and let's see now how the reflection is working okay perfect it's not too much evident but i like this then to add more depth feeling we can go to depth of field tab and uh, press get z1 uh, which will be the the closest uh, focus and just press like where you want like here and get z2 for the for the far uh, object on focus like uh, this uh, leave the settings as they are and just press calculate now this will take some time and everything in the background will be blurry and will give some uh, camera lens uh, illusion uh, giving to the fractal uh, a smaller mm, feeling you see everything is blurry here we can do this another time just by changing the the points like here and this time here calculate now wait You can also change some, uh, if you don't like this shape, you can change it to the navigator again and uh, take the parameter from main and change some rotation. And you can explore different shapes. That's really interesting fractal formula. But anyway, this time I will just be good with this image. If you want to save this image, you just need to make the full size with the scroll, mouse scroll, and go to save pick JPEG quality 100 and save as J JPEG to the desktop, give it a name, save and it will be here that's it thank you see you in, see you in the next